So today we're doing video, well mostly art. The past two days were photos, so if you guys haven't watched those videos, the first one is about working with models and an animal, which is a dog. I don't think that you have that many choices for architecture shoot them at the different types of animals, so just a dog. And the day after was just stills. And now it's video, the third day. It's like I practically live here now. I put a tie latch in the door because uh, early in the morning the light is nice and uh, later we're gonna film outside so we don't want anyone uh, in the frame. And I'm gonna use uh, Andy filters. This is like glasses for the camera, <laughs> sunglasses for the camera. Hey! <laughs> Uh, yeah. the, the early morning lights is nice. Have you seen the facade? So yeah, nice. it looks really nice. Yeah. So Art just got this tripod and he really likes it because it's... So light. So light. Do you have any advice for time lapses? Yeah, uh, when especially for these sh with landscape and architecture, I used to like to use longer shutter speeds, slower shutter speeds because I don't like to see the trees moving so quickly and the water. For architecture, I used to avoid fast movements, even in time lapses. I used to like the play with the, between the light and the shadow. For example, that one subject that I'm uh, using so much. And also, sometimes I even do day to night time lapses, but the length of the time lapse is just an hour and a half or so. I then used to do long time lines, like four hours time lines is not necessary. And yeah, just to to frame wider than than you think because to have to sh overshoot, yeah, to overshoot. And sometimes uh, even to do, I even shoot it vertically. Yeah, yeah. The main thing for time lines is to use any filter. And if I do a time time lines eighty, the they look so still, and I put it here, in this, and it's, it's darker, and it compensates with the shutter speed, you know, one second. So the, the leaves are moving, you know, so it doesn't look so freezed, and they, they a timeless with the uh, high shutter speed, the plants look, look like, like that, and with the slow, slow shutter speed, it's like that, you know, like a flat. Okay, so we were shooting the uh, time lapse outside. We already started to film today, but all of a sudden, uh, all the clouds are in. It's so cloudy now. We didn't expect that because the weather forecast was uh, positive in different channels, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So we have to go today. We're going. We're coming back another day because a house like this has to be shot with good weather. We have. Uh, call the client already to arrange for another day and yeah the thing is that uh, for the nature of the project here in places like that in, in Mallorca uh, the, we have to shoot the property with, with, with light because uh, the, the selling point here is, the, is, is sun and the wood, good weather and the, um, they want the, the clients always want to shoot the, the, the properties uh, like that uh, if it was maybe a real estate uh, work that they have to sell the house so quickly, maybe it would be fine like that because uh, time is is crucial. But uh, we are making uh, photographs uh, mainly for uh, for the portfolio of the developer and the architect and the furniture design. So uh, it's if if it's uh, if it takes a week uh, longer, it's fine. Yeah, I just shot a house a week or two ago and it was like even worse the weather and I'm like, I kind of wish I waited. I had to go back to the house for photos, but I didn't have time to go back to the house for video, but it would have made such a big difference because it was a wooden mid-century with a ton of windows, like from the top to the bottom, but it is what it is. I think even if they're in a rush timeline, but if it's at least like a $4 million house, they can wait a few days. Yeah. Yeah. So today is the day that we're returning to this home to do a video because the first day it was uh, not the sunniest day and yeah, it was just on and off with the sun. Sometimes it was a bit cloudy. 
So we're back now. We have to move so, so quickly now because uh, yeah, we need to capture the morning lights. And after that, when I leave the time lapse camera in place, we're gonna be preparing the, the other camera and the other equipment for the video. So <laughs> they're gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah, but from now until nine or so, it's just gonna be only morning lights in time lapse and video. It's, it's so special because the life is uh, softer, it's, it's lower and uh, the color is uh, more yellow, more golden, it's nice. How many time-lapse cameras do you usually put at the same time? I, I used to put one, I used to put two back in the day, but it's so much. Like uh, you don't need to use that much footage in the end? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I put, I put it in the right place, it's, it's enough. You should film a story or something here. Look at the reflection oh, in wow. the pool. So nice. I'm gonna use a slow shutter speed because the water is moving so fast. I don't want to see the jittery effect. I want to see it smooth. What settings do you usually do? Yeah, I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do uh, 3.2 seconds push or so or four seconds pusher and uh, the interval I have I'm gonna put it short because the lights changing so much now and uh, the, the f-stop close like at eight, f8 or something and the uh, lower ISO sometimes I should time lapse it just in case uh, I don't know if the end result is gonna be good but uh, it's hard to predict the, the movement of the light and uh, when it touches some, uh, how it's going, going to touch uh, the floor and other surfaces. Uh, sometimes you need to put the tan lights and hope for the best, right? Do you do it throughout the day? Yeah, yeah. I, in the middle of the day it's harder because the, the sun position is higher, so there are not as much shadows, as many shadows, but yeah, I, I used to do the whole day, and, and, but especially the morning and the afternoon. Yeah, in summertime, yeah, not, not that many in, during the day. Is it hard to do so many during the day, but you can't walk in the frame, so you have to coordinate like crazy? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Well, it used to be like, we shoot, a, we shoot an area, and then if it's interesting for the talent, we leave the camera there and we go to another area and we don't walk in again. So we have two cameras occupied, one in use. Bo both are doing a time lapse. And then I don't have another camera and I'm just preparing, setting up the rest of the stuff. The slider, I'm gonna prepare the Jeep as well. Um, and the gimbal, yeah. Yeah, this morning lights, have to be captured because they are so interesting and later in the in the day they're not gonna be as interesting. So. I, I just use gimbal for longer moment but for details or uh, rooms I need a slider because it's more precise, it's more slow. So I, I chose this uh, shark slider a nano from iFootage because um, the other slider that I, I, I have been using for seven years it's so good, it's so robust, uh, the track is, is, is long, but I was in the need for a more compact solution because uh, I'm working with a small team, me and the assistant, and sometimes it's, it's so much to, to set up, it requires so much time to set up the slider from one location to another. The Edelchrome, the Edelchrome is so popular, but I don't like it, it's not so stable and well I think now it's better but the thing is that for the setting up time, the setting up time is uh, longer because it requires an app or a, a remote and you have to plug cables and everything and I think th this is the sweet spot for me. What's the first angle we're shooting? Yeah with the drone we're gonna capture the, the entrance facade because the sun is going to move to the other direction and now it's the sweet spot. It has different layers, the, the stone in the, in the, 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 the landscaping, the facade, 
uh, different stories. Yeah, it's with the drone. I think it's gonna be nice. The connection with the with the trees, but we we have to be careful not to make it look so uh, far away. We need to to find a good composition. Let's see. <laughs> the seagulls are our enemy. Yeah, seagull doesn't don't like drones. And they are they are so aggressive. You think they are so cute, so innocent? They are not. <laughs> but this is a behind the scenes, not National Geographic. They are not. No, but they they they, they can attack the drone. It, it, it wouldn't be the first time. So we're in the front of the house, and Art is filming some details of the materials, like the stone wall, the wood paneling, and then he's filming now the the plants to have a combination. It's so overcast, it's so cloudy. Uh, yeah, we have to shoot some interior areas that uh, is the sun exposure is not that necessary, but crossing my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna try to fly indoors. We are just gonna check now because we need sun. And yeah, I'm gonna check if, if it's possible. It's a bit tight there, I don't know. There is metal as well. With the Gion gimbal. The Gion Crane gimbal, it's so small. M2. Yeah, M2, yes. And it's hoverboard. This is mainly for the stealth because when walking with a gimbal, the horizontal axis is so sensible, sensitive and it's, it's better, it's more stable this way and the motion, the speed is uh, constant. It's your time to learn! Oh no, hell no! Oh. No! This one is so easy. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Don't you have to shoot? Stand up, stand up. Go ahead, go You're missing a shot! I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to film now. If you, oh, if you die, I'm going to go to the hospital. You want to put down the 12? What? No, no. You want to put it down? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. One, and the other, the other, the other! Okay. Oh my uh, god. No? Late. It's like your mind. Why am I shaking? It's like going to your mind. Forward, backward, you say move. You are so thin, you need to, uh, to lean a bit. Right? Go, go, go oh there. My God. Go there. Oh, yeah? oh I see. Oh. So basically, there's these nice light and shadow combination from the. I don't really need to know what it's called. From the beams of the first floor. And Art's doing something that's scaring me, so my knees are like getting wobbly just watching that. Yeah, I need to finish this room now and we have to run to the to the kitchen because we didn't do it. Yeah. We, we could have captured this room with the wet, with the better light. We, it's not bad now, but we we were doing the, the stereos and the living room and it's a bit more important. So now Art is shooting the kitchen. Yeah, you're left. Like the Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shooting the kitchen, doing a dolly in movement. Dolly in movement. Oh, that's a nice angle. Yeah, and the the, the curtain is moving. You want me to move it? It was moving when I was in Do you want me to filming, move? but yeah, you can you can go and and move it with the hand. See that? It's enough. More, more. More. Like that? Grab everything, everything in the corner. Everything? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, yeah, and move here quickly. Maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah, just move in a bit. The, the, the pool is going to go in shadow in hours. Maybe I can put it a long time lapse. You know, like that. Or the view. Yeah. So the time now is at six o'clock and Art is shooting the kitchen and dining room combination 
There's a time lapse over there to shoot the sunset. Uh, to shoot the 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 pool is going to cover uh, with full with a shadow in in an hour or so. But I I'm, I'm capturing the this process. And now we have the eye footage in vertical to shoot the. Are you gonna go up to the light? You can see the light. Yeah. So this is what he's shooting right now. Let me get the focus right. Filming a detail shot here. What detail are you focusing on? The table? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> so now, oh, I took off my watch. What's the time now? 7.30? And it's going to be twilight time soon. So Art is turning on all the lights. Where is he? Are you behind me? Behind the scenes. <laughs> I thought you were that way. Yeah, I'm turning on the lights. The lights. <laughs> I think you pushed it down this little. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is our seventh millionth day on the same house. <laughs> the problem with with the job is that when you are uh, a few days shooting, you want to go back to the computer, and when you are <laughs> a few days in the computer, you want to <laughs> go back to shooting. You're never happy. Well, I mean, this is the human race, right? Why didn't you use the crane? <laughs> Look at you so dead. We have been here for we have been here for 13 hours. So no, 14 14 hours. Okay. Yeah, in total at that place like for, 50. Uh, yeah, 50 in 3 days. Yeah. And our jokes are getting cornier and cornier. <laughs> To or, the point that I literally can laugh at anything he says. Like, <laughs> <laughs> even if I don't say anything. Yeah, I just look at him and laugh. <laughs> I really enjoy the shoot, and the thing when when I do photography and video, it's so different of photography. Even if uh, if if it's the same house, with with video you, you can explore other other options. You, you uh, there are all, way more things to do. Yeah, I. I really enjoy doing these videos and I think it's really useful for, for my clients. Um, yeah, uh, the time lapses are, are so special as well, so I, I enjoy the process. Yeah, yeah uh, comment uh, below if you have additional video questions and we also put out one with how to shoot with models and animals and then photo. Oh, so the other days that we shot, I also did it behind the scenes. So, yeah, it's a pretty complete set. I'm gonna miss this woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs>